Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video, and if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button, as well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create a physical photo book and have it sent to you by using Google Photos. Now the steps of creating this photo book is very simple. All you have to do is head over into your Google Photos application, and then on the very top left hand side, hit on that menu, and then you have the option right here for photo books. Now I do also want to mention that if you are using either a iPhone or Android, the steps are going to be the exact same. And you can also make this on your desktop or laptop just by going to google.com, signing in with your Gmail, and then on the very top right hand side you have all those menu options. One of those is Google Photos, and then you're able to choose on photo books and then have it created there as well. Now, three days ago, I did upload a video talking about the first 10 things you should do with your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And one of those very first things I talked about was making sure you went over into Google Photos and having everything set up appropriately. So then you don't lose any of your photos ever taken and they're still also be able to be uploaded unlimitedly as high resolution. Now, when you first choose on the option for photo books, you're gonna notice on the very top that it says photo books for life and starting from 9.99. So I'll talk about all the different pricings just a little bit later in this video because you can get this as either a soft or hard cover. But below that, you can either create your own book and you can start one and all you have to do is just go through all the different you know photos that was uploaded using Google Photos and then you click on done. But the minimum amount required of photos will be 20 pages and then the maximum will be 100 pages. Then right below that, you do have the option where Google suggested its own books created from your own images. So this one right here is the best of 2017. Here's the best of fall and then the best of spring. And so I kind of like how they went with the whole theme of the year of 2017. So I created my own from scratch just called year 2017. So I'd be able to keep this thing at home and then I'd be able to make this every single year. Now, what I will be doing tonight is actually ordering one of these as a soft cover and then make sure that you guys are subscribed to this video. You also hit on that little bell for all the notifications because in the future, I will be doing a little review visited video showing you the actual book, showing you all the different quality. So if you are interested in seeing the outcome of ordering these books, that video will come soon but pretty much the moment that I receive that book first. So here is the album that I have created. On the very top, this will be your little album cover and you are able to change this if you want to. You just hit on change photo. You can also change how it kind of looks on the front page. So if you have an image that's gonna be looking pretty good where it won't be cutting off anything on the top, this would probably be the one that I would choose, um, but because of the image I would, I would like to be on the front, it would kind of cut off a little bit of the top. Or you can also have the option of these photos taking up the entire page. And then through here, it just kind of shows everything that you placed in order of when you were going through and selecting everything. Now, if there is any of these that you would like to change, you can actually just press and hold on them and you can change the order of where you would like it to go. So if you want it to kind of go up here, then you can just change the order that way. Also, you can hit this X and it will delete that image. But because all of these pictures here are actually ones that I will be using with this physical book, um, I don't really want to delete them, but just hit on that little X and then you're going to be good to go. You'll also have options on the very top. So this little icon over here is where you'd be able to add more images and it tells you how many you do have selected. And again, the maximum number will be 100 photos. And then the little menu on the very top right hand side, this is where you can reorder and delete images just the way that I showed you from before. But instead of me going up to the menu and hitting this one, I just press and hold on an image. And same thing here, you can change the book cover and you can also delete the draft. So with this one right here that I have created, it's saved as a draft because it's not 100% finished. So once you have everything all chosen out, all the different images that you would want to use, again, minimum of 20, maximum of 100 photos, then you're gonna click on the little checkout box. So this is where we're gonna talk about the price points and everything else. So you can get this as a soft cover or hard cover. And I do wanna mention that when you start off with the soft cover, if you go with the 20 images, it will cost you $9.99. If you go for the hardcover book um, and you're gonna go with the minimal images again, which is 20, it'll cost you $20. So either you can go with 10 or 20 for the price for 20 images. Now, here is the second part of this price. So first starting off with this soft cover book, the size is gonna be seven inches. The hardcover book will be nine inches. And that's why when you add a additional page or AKA an additional photo, um, the price point is gonna be different. So if you do the soft cover book starting at 9.99, which is seven square inches, um, it's going to be 35 cents for additional image. 
Now, because mine right here is 16 additional images more than 20, because again, I am at 36 photos, um, that's where it comes out with that uh, basically almost $16 price point. And then here is the hardcover. This is where you get it as nine inches, and each additional page or each additional photo will be 65 cents instead of that 35, just because it'll be a little bit more ink that is being used. Now, I do want to mention something back over here. So as we were kind of going through all of these different photos, and now that you saw all the different prices, either if you have your photo looking as this, or even zoomed in more, or even the full uh, seven inch or nine inch, it does not change the outcome of your price. If you buy it as seven or nine inches, either your soft or hard cover, each page costs you the same. So you might wanna just look at the resolution and the quality of these images. And so some of these, when we do get the book um, sent over to me, some of them I did choose the very first option. Um, some of the other images I did choose the very last and then some of the rest I chose the middle because I wanted to show the differences between going from small, medium to large images of the seven inch page. So once you have everything all set up, you went through all your different photos of where you kind of want them to kind of be set up if you wanted everything to be, you know, either cropped out or the original image, then you go over, you have your checkout, you chose all your different um, photos. It says right here, it's gonna be 1559. I'm gonna go to select. Then you can also choose how much of your quantity. So do you wanna order two of them or one of them? Do you wanna add a gift message? Uh, and right here, you can see here that the soft, co soft cover book is 999. My 16 additional pages is coming out to the 560 which there it comes off as the 1559 and so now we're gonna go over and check out so for the shipping prices just so you guys know the economy shipping which will take 10 to 14 days is four dollars the standard shipping which will take five to nine days is gonna be eight dollars and then the priority shipping which is four to six business days will be 13 but I'm not really much of a hurry so I'm gonna go with and go in with the four dollars so there was a small little update with the estimated tax and so that does add an additional one dollar and 78 cents so now we're at twenty one dollars and thirty six cents which is not bad at all for 36 photos coming in as seven inches for a photo book just being sent over to me with shipping and everything else so i don't have to even leave my house to have something that is a album of all of my amazing photos of 2017 remembering last year now my guess is that the estimated tax could be different for you depending on whatever state that you're living in and where it's being sent to so I just got my confirmation from Google Photos letting me know, hey, you are confirmed for your photo book. So I'm super excited to check out all the photos that kind of recaps the year of 2017 in my life. So make sure you guys are checking out this channel periodically, watching all my videos I upload, hopefully maybe possibly daily, but make sure you guys watch for the video coming up in about two weeks, letting you guys know the end result. I'm gonna show an unboxing, show the book, show the quality of the photos, the quality of the book, and if the shipping and everything is actually on time. So I hope that you guys have liked this video make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up also hit on subscribe right over here or you can hit on subscribe below the video and make sure i share this video with your friends and families and let me know if you guys are interested in creating your own photo books in the comments below outside of that i'll see you guys later